Hey, first graders, today we are going to be math detectives. It is our job to listen to the stories, find the clues, and then do the math with the clues we find. Now, we've been practicing adding three add-ins, and we're going to keep doing that today. But like I said, you're going to have to be listening for the clues because the numbers are going to be told to you in a number story, okay, a math story. Um, remember, we are using addition, so we might hear some of those words that tell us it's addition, but we already know what we're going to be doing with the numbers, okay? So let's look at some of this together, get some clues as we go, okay? There's my first story. Remember, if you hear a clue, it's always a good idea to write it down. Mark has nine green toy cars. Okay, heard the clue. He has one yellow toy car and he has five blue toy cars. How many toy cars does Mark have all together? Okay, so he, there's that word all together tells us we're going to add. So we can come in here, we can put our addition symbols. Okay, now looking here, which add-ins will you put together first? Do you remember the thing that I like to look for first? I always like to see if I can make a group of 10 because then I can just bump out the zero with the rest of the numbers. So can I make a 10 here? I can, okay? Nine and one make a 10. So I have 10 plus five. What does the five do? It just bumps out the zero. So we have a group of 10 and five more, or 15. How many toy cars does Mark have? He has 15 toy cars. Okay, let's look at another one. Ready for the clues? Ava has three kites. Write down that clue. Lexi also has three kites. Did you write down the clue? Fred has five toy kites. Did you write down that clue? How many kites do they all have? Okay, so again, we're talking about everything there is, all there is. Okay, so what clues did you write down? Did you write down three, three, and five? Okay, if you did, then you are correct. Okay, now you need to decide which ones you're going to put together first. Again, we're finding all of them, so we need addition symbols. Okay, which ones would you put together first? Is there a way to make a 10? There's not with these numbers. So which ones would you want to put together first? Okay, maybe your thought is let's put together the doubles. If you put together the doubles, what is the sum of just those two numbers? Together, they are six, okay? And then we still have five. Six plus five, oh, they're neighbors. I know six plus six is 12. So six plus five is gonna be just a little smaller because five is just a little smaller than six. So if six plus six is 12, six plus five is going to be 11. Okay, maybe you wanted to add a three with the five first. If I did three and five first, I'd be able to count on. I could say five in the box, three outside, five in the box, three outside, five, six, seven, eight. That would have had me eight with three left over. Could have put eight in the box, three outside, eight in the box, three outside, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so I still got the same sum of 11, okay? You can add in any order and it does not change the sum. You can switch the add-ins, it does not change the sum. Okay, let's do one more. We'll do this one together again. We have Ken put five marbles in the jar. Lou put zero marbles in the jar. May put five more marbles in the jar. How many marbles are in the jar? OK, 
Okay, what does that zero tell us? That zero tells us nothing, right? So right away, if we have a zero as one of our add-ins, we know we don't need to worry about it. We can almost just pretend it's not even there. Okay, so really, we're just adding five plus five. And what is five plus five? Double stacked and a way to make a 10. Okay, so there we have it. Five plus zero plus five is just like a normal five plus five. It's just gonna make a 10, okay? So hopefully you have your best detective skills ready and your best math skills ready so that you can add in any order the three add-ins and find the stem of the stories in today's math. Have fun, good luck.